Hey guys, what is going on? So I wanted to talk about the newest addition to the Gorilla Mine product lineup, and that is their collagen peptide. So this is an extremely good flavor. I would honestly give this a 10 out of 10. The mixability is really good. So I think that's kind of a game changer relative to other collagen supplements that I've taken in the past. So if you've had collagen in the past, you're probably familiar with the pretty gross taste that it has and or the poor mixability. I haven't tried every brand, but all the brands that I've tried, it's been pretty consistent in that regard. So somehow Gorilla pulled off a miracle and made this not only taste extremely good, but mix extremely well as well. And uh, I think that makes it a game changer among collagen supplements. However, if you just want to take collagen in general, you want to take this one or another brand, I highly recommend it. And I'm talking about the just overall use cases of collagen. It's extremely abundant in the body. So it's you know beneficial for hair, skin, nails, all that stuff, which it's primarily marketed as like a beauty supplement primarily towards women, you know, reducing wrinkles and stuff like that. Um, our collagen production is going to go down as we age. So this is going to be, you know, beneficial to supplement as we get older for those things. But the main thing that I take it for, and I would guess a lot of you guys are going to take it for as well, if you aren't already taking it, is for connective tissue health, you know, your tendons and ligaments and everything like that. And that's really going to be, uh, you know, better if you take this after you know your workout so i'll talk about some strategies that i use to optimize that collagen synthesis for that connective tissue um, but again that's primarily the reason i take it although it is extremely abundant in the body so if you want it for you know health and beauty purposes or you want it for that connective tissue in general or a combination right i think it's a very good thing to supplement especially as you get older but if you're an athlete i think you should absolutely be supplementing with this um so for me, what I've always done is just because, you know, most collagen on the market is, is really gross. I don't really look forward to taking it. I just take it after my leg days because that's really my problem area is my knees. And I've been taking collagen for years, so I don't really have knee issues anymore. Um, but I do think that taking collagen is a reason why I don't have them. They plagued me throughout all of high school and even beyond, even when I wasn't lifting. So the fact that my knees are, you know, relatively healthy now, I don't have any issues with that. I think is partially due to, you know, that collagen that I take utilizing that collagen synthesis while also, um, doing some workout techniques that I'll talk about in a second. But overall, I think collagen, uh, you know, production is going to go down over time. And if you can tackle that and take it consistently, that's going to be a lot better to try and take collagen every day. But if you have a brand that you don't like the taste of, maybe just do it after whatever day. So for example, if you have, uh, you know, elbow issues, maybe you take it after a day that you bench or something like that. For me, again, it is the knees that I have issues with. So um, this one allows me to take it every day because I actually look forward to this because the flavor is so good. However, I do think that taking this after your workouts is going to be the optimal time if you're trying to get that maximum uh, collagen synthesis in the target area. And so what I would recommend is in terms of the workouts that you do, the way that you really get that tendon ligament whatever is the issue for you stronger is by going through a large range of motion and progressively increasing the load and the force that that joint can go through right so if it's your knees it's not just doing squats but it's hey i want to do a really quad bias squat where i can really take that uh, tendon specifically the patellar tendon is the one that i have issue with really take that through a large range of motion increase that load and then if you're playing sports, for example, you're getting really high velocity when you're landing. So you're putting a ton of stress on that tendon, right? So doing a little bit of both, you know, plyometrics is something that I have also done on and off, even after I've like finished school, I used to, you know, do basketball and stuff like that. But I think plyometrics are beneficial for increasing that force production that that tendon goes through. But if you're not going to do that, at least doing that large range of motion and increasing the stress that you put on that tendon is going to be beneficial. Doing that and then taking collagen after that is going to help that repair process and help that tendon uh, get a little bit stronger after every workout. Now, another thing that I really recommend is doing a cool down after you do those, you know, high stress uh, exercises that put a lot of emphasis on that tendon tendons and ligaments don't get as good of blood flow as our muscles do. And so if you're, you know, pumping up your quads, you're going to get a lot of blood flow, a lot of nutrients to your quads. However, your tendons are not going to get that same treatment and therefore doing like high rep stuff or doing band work, which is something that I really like to do as a cool down. That's going to bring a lot of blood flow, bring those nutrients to that tendon to help the repair process. 
pair it with a collagen supplement, you're gonna be good to go. Um, also, this isn't necessary for this because it has vitamin C, but if you wanna add vitamin C to improve the absorption and increase that collagen synthesis, that's gonna be very beneficial um, in that regard. So again, this has vitamin C added. This also has hyaluronic acid, which is gonna be beneficial for the you know beauty side of things that's often used as a topical um, for skincare products. But anyway, again, the connective tissue, I think is the main thing there. This is also very high in glycine. And so glycine is very good to have before you go to bed. It's going to be beneficial in lowering your body's temperature so that you can have better sleep. And better sleep is going to be better for all of the things that uh, you're trying to improve. You know, obviously, if you're doing anything um, regarding the health and beauty side of this, hair, skin and nails and all of that, you're going to look younger and healthier if you get better sleep. So it's kind of a double whammy there. And then obviously getting the muscle and tendon repair in your sleep, that's when your body repairs itself. You know, the growth hormone is secreted and stuff like that. So really good to take this if you work out in the evening after your workout, and then you, you know, are also taking it before bed if you're doing it in the evening. Otherwise, I think it'd be beneficial to take it even if you're doing after morning workout. For example, if you really have knee issues, I would recommend taking this after your workout, even if it is in the morning and then potentially adding a glycine supplement on top of that, if you really want to emphasize that. Um, but for me, I like to take this every day. And so therefore I just take it after my workout, whether that's a you know morning or evening, I just take this every day at this point. Again, I used to only take it uh, after my leg workouts because I didn't like collagen. I used to just not look forward to taking it. Whereas this flavor I think is so good that I actually like want to take it all the time. So, um, yeah, I think, you know, implementing those strategies when it comes to collagen synthesis and, and really getting that connective tissue to grow, um, and get better over time. So you can take more stress and therefore your tendon should be healthier. Really good, obviously for in the gym and then the connective tissue in general for, you know, general well being. The health and beauty aspect, you know, the wrinkles and the hair and everything like that, it's a good supplement to have in my opinion. So whether you use this one or another one, if you use another one, make sure to um, either A, if you're looking for that skincare um, to supplement, you know, use a topical hyaluronic acid. I think that's going to be beneficial if you want that. Or if you're doing it for the connective tissue or you're doing both, um, the vitamin C added to the collagen is going to be beneficial for that collagen synthesis. So just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's all I got to say about that. I'll keep you updated and I'll talk to you soon.